I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim Now come with me and let this story begin Preach, welcome back. What the fuck is good? Oh, I, it's all good, by the way. What, what did I do? Listen, what I'm going to ask do? you because you're the coolest person in the room right now. What did I do? Is there an age limit for when you could learn new vernacular words? Like, I don't, uh, I don't think like so. lit. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it because he says all the words that are on TikTok, Poseidon uses them, and every yeah, time but he's he does. Young. How old are you? I'm 30. But he looks 50, so. You're 30? <laughs> well, 29. I'm turning 29 in a month. You're 29? <laughs> yeah. You look divorced. <laughs> You're 29? Yeah. I thought he was younger. Yeah. Oh, Anyways, thank you. Is he allowed uh, to use all the new words? When do we stop using new words? No, whenever it depends of the whole vibe. Like, you know what I mean? I'm 40. I could use lit. Yeah, you can use lit. It depends of it depends of the vibe. It depends of, you know. You know what I mean? I You're, can't. You're 30? Boy, that's cap. I could use that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it yeah but the, for some reason when he does, it doesn't seem cool. <laughs> hey, I don't know about I don't know about him, but I know I could use it. You thirty? I, I don't use cap, by the way. I've heard you use cap. I I think I tried it once. I was like, nah, not for me. He that felt word. it. I looked at him weird. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him. Like, has to, he has to try new words like he tries on pants. He's like, cap, cap, yeah, cap. Yeah, it don't fit. It yeah, don't it doesn't, fit. yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> the cap doesn't fit. It don't fit. My head's too big. Cap. Yo, boy, that's cap. Nope. No, it don't fit. It feels weird. I feel like it's a time where you can't. <laughs> Like, I want to adopt all new things, but I feel like there's a time that I just, I'm like, ah, I've had enough. I'm going to use the words that I know. And that's fine. And it depends on what neighborhood you're in, too, in Montreal. Some yeah. neighborhoods use all the new TikTok trends. But, it, like, nobody's going to look at you funny if you say, oh, that's a lie. Nobody's going to look yeah. at you funny. And instead of saying that's cap. You know what I mean? So yeah. you could use you could use whatever. Like, use, well, you mean the actual word? Ain't nobody going to look at you funny. But even in Park X, the vernacular, have you noticed no one speaks Park X anymore? Like, no Pig Latin? The uh, only stuff that we use is boy and maybe breeze. It's true. You say even, boy even if it's I've, your homie. Even, even I've like, told it. Like if somebody calls you, like, hey, boy, what's up? If you, see, if you hear someone, in, like a park extra, call someone boy, yeah. it's because they're homies. Yeah, but ain't, that's no, it. ain't nobody call me boy. No. I ain't nobody boy. Ella boy. <laughs> Ella yeah. boy. Ella boy. Like if, if, if you call me, like, Ella boy, like, what's up? But if I don't know you, you're never going to hear the boy. You're going to be like, Ella. No. Yeah. No, that's not something that's that you got to say to someone you don't know. Hey, no. what up, boy? No. What? Oh, but the way you're saying it now, it sounds like demeaning. <laughs> in Park X, though, you only say it to your boys. You're like, what's up, boy? Like that. You never heard me say it or him. <laughs> Rev. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't know that? I don't see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell the difference. I don't see the difference. You never hear me on the phone. If I go, Ella, boy, it means that I know the guy. Probably. Yeah. If I don't, if I don't know, you're never going to hear it. If I know the guy, it's just like, uh, yeah, hey, Ella. Something like that. Yeah. It's weird. Eh? Fucking every neighborhood has its own thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Also, I noticed that the, a lot of the, uh, like the Algerians, the Arabs, they use slang that you hear in France. Yeah, of course. Nick and stuff like that. Yeah, Nick Tamar. Yeah, yeah. Jlasem. Which? Jlasem. Yo, what the fuck is that? But it's because they use that in France. Well, they got connection there in France, so, and they use that. And they're going to listen to the rap, the hip-hop that isn't done in France. So they're going to use whatever vernacular they hear in in those songs, and whenever they replicate, and whenever they do hip hop, they replicate that kind of sound. And then well. it evolves here. And then yeah. we have our own little. Uh, Even here, we have that own little thing. Like we have our, we have our thing. The 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 there's a lot of of Caribbean people. There's, there's a lot of Haitians here, so they're gonna use a lot of Creole word. You use you you use Creole. I've seen you on stage. Yeah, yeah, but it word. depends. It depends with who. It depends with who. What the setting is. I'm not gonna use it with let's say with y'all or Mike, whatever, whatnot. I'm yeah, gonna, if I don't you know, understand it, what's right. the point? Especially if I want to communicate, you understand what I'm saying? So that 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 that's a thing, uh, and I and I code switch a whole lot. So I don't speak the same English I speak with you or with other motherfuckers. It's gonna be different. You know what I mean? I noticed at the fights over the weekend, when you were talking to people, you were very jovial, and then you were making them comfortable. Like there was a lady that was out. Yeah, yeah. Cause they're in the south. Yeah. Like whenever you go to Macy's and you're in the south, 
It's like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, I just, I just have a question. Yeah, baby, what, you, what can I yeah, do for yeah, you, honey? Yeah. I was like, shit, I'm honey yeah. now? Okay. Yeah, and then you started doing the same okay, thing yeah. back. I was enjoying it. I was, I was like, like, this well, is. Baby, well, baby, <laughs> I, well, 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 I was looking for a perfume. Like, this I, is the friendliest well, conversation let me, let me just get I've ever you. seen. Well, thank you very much. I'll follow you right there. It depends. That's you, what I it just was. switch it up. I just switch it up with people. This is the friendliest conversation I've ever seen in the department store. Somebody <laughs> like, hey, baby, can I help you? I'm like, oh, of course you can. Everybody's being like, this is so nice. But the thing is, the thing is that that's it. I'll match your energy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of match energy, do you remember the first fight of the night? The fighter, you said, because so, he was demotivated. I think he got his ass kicked in one round. And yeah. then between rounds, I forgot what his name was, like Steve, you're like, because we're right behind him. We're at the cage and you're like, Steve, you can fucking do it. Don't you worry, brother. You fucking got this, Steve. I just, yeah, I don't know. I just and then he turned thing. around, he nodded, he went out, won, uh, and then said, jumped I on I the said, cage and started pointing. Yeah, like, that's you. I said, you that's got you. this. Yeah. I said, bro, stop. <laughs> Yeah, you got you this. You got this. Stop fucking around. You got this, bruv. You motivated you the fuck know. out of him. <laughs> he turned yeah, the fight around. Just, just yeah, that's you right there. That was, a, that was such back. a good moment. He just pointed back. Yeah, and Michelle took a picture of that. <laughs> he has that, right? The guy pointing. Yeah, that was a great fucking moment. That was a, for me, that was a great fan service moment of look at the fans, what they could do. Like, look at how someone yelling could motivate someone. Yeah. Because also, between the other fights, we had a lot of stuff that we noticed they could hear us. Either the fighters could hear us or Nigga, the people around the cage. we were on the stage. What the fuck you mean? That was a great experience. I, I, we could have almost touched that bitch. Like, it was right there. The cage was right there. We were right behind the dudes that was doing all the social media and the cameras and the shit. And the, and the it was our section. We only had a section, just us. So, yeah. It was just us. There was nobody else. We were the only people that I saw with, with cartons written VVIP. I didn't realize when they gave them to us. You know how I realized we were at that food um, area where they have the catering, yeah. right? And people kept staring. I thought there was something like people kept staring at my uh, badge. But I, at first I thought they were staring at my chest. So I kept saying like I kept feeling stuff like what the fuck is something on me? And then I looked at someone staring at me. I looked at his badge. He wrote VIP. And I was like, okay, why is he staring at my badge? We're both VIP. And no. then I looked down at mine and I saw he wrote His was v gray. Yours yeah, his was, was gray. That's the thing. I saw he wrote VVIP and I go, oh, wait a second. No, we're above these people. That's the first thing I noticed. That's, that's why they're looking at us. <laughs> that's the first thing I noticed. What you mean VV? That's a W. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a win. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, God damn. All right. All right. We got something yeah. here. Something's cooking. Yeah. So, so that's pretty much it. So. I don't know, and also the fuck, I understand how hard it is to like to fight. It's hard. You out of breath. You don't know. You don't stay focused and shit. It's hard. It's a, it's a good sport, but it's it's really a hard sport. You understand? We were talking about that. Yeah, how you told me would you ever do it? Eh, maybe for some money uh, and jump not in. Not my age right now. I wouldn't do it now. Someone would kill us. Not not right now. I wouldn't do it right now as a sport, but. Well, you I do know. that. You train. You, I know. Yeah, I train, but Star I know I'm yeah. past my prime. I don't lie. I don't lie to yeah. myself. What do you think the prime it? is for fighting sports, age wise? Combat sports. Thirty. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Thirty. Like you got, you're mature enough. You make the decision, and your body's there. But it's like your prime is not long. Twenty, twenty nine, twenty eight to thirty. That's your prime. And then, of course, there's some super machines that could like. Fight till the the forties. That's right? what's tough about that. Randy, shit. Randy Couture is one of them. You saw him, bro. He's still fucking looking good. He's jacked. Yeah, he's big. He's huge. Like he, he's 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 jacked. He looks, you know. What I like about dudes like that is I think they represent. I think he's one of the guys that represents the sport the best because in the cage he was an animal, like just a, a Spartan, and then outside he's classy. Because there used to be a misconception: if you're a fighter, you you know you're you're a brute. Even outside, same thing with sports. If you're an athlete, you have to be a jock. You got to be dumb. Yeah. But I like guys that sh prove the mold is different. Yeah, but the thing is, it's really that. They're really going to look at the like the extremes, right? The negative part of the thing, right? But the thing, the, re the reality is, uh, Randy Couture is, when we saw him, he was calm. Yeah. At peace. Happy. Happy. He was at peace. What's that saying? Because that person was peaceful. And then <laughs> it's funny because someone said, I'm peaceful. And the person said, no, you're not peaceful. Said, yeah, I'm peaceful. You know, you're not. Are you cap capable of extreme violence? No. Then you're not peaceful. Yeah, you're peaceful. I no, like you're not. If you're not capable of extreme violence, you're not peaceful. If you are capable, you yeah. mean. Yeah. 
I don't remember what the Everyone's word is. Everyone's capable of extreme violence. No, not everyone is capable of extreme violence. It's the case. No. no, no, not everyone is capable of extreme violence. And if you're not, uh, if you're not capable of extreme violence, enough to enough as if you're. I don't know how to say. It. I don't know what the word is. An unoff- like inoffensive. No, I'm just gonna look for it. Look at Poseidon. Look that shit up. French to English. Oh, I look at this guy right away. Inoffensive. Harmless. Harmless. Yeah. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. yeah. That's what you are. You're not peaceful. Because you can't do the opposite. Yeah. I, can't most people, if they're put in the right situation, be. No. You think there's people that would just take it and not become violent? Yeah. There's people that have. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. There's also the saying that if you can't be a good man if. Uh, if you're not dangerous, in order to be a good man, you have to be dangerous. That's the uh, that's the only. You're a good man. Thank you. But I mean, that's the only option that you got. It's not a choice. It's not. You're not peaceful. Yeah, yeah. That's just you. You're just. Yeah. There's no reason for me to not be peaceful. Is what you're saying. There's no reason. You can't be anyways. You yeah. know what I mean? So you're not peaceful. You just can't hurt nothing. Yeah, I'm you just waiting. Do, you can't. And, and that's then the not, second, and that's push. not a that's not a bad <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. No, you gotta be ready. You're gonna be peaceful when it's gonna be time. You're gonna be peaceful too when it's gonna actually be time to not be peaceful because that's the only option you can you, you you have. So it's not everybody, and that's not a it's not a good thing or, or a, bad a bad thing. thing. I'm not promoting. It just uh, is. I'm not promoting it, or I'm not like. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm just saying it is what it is. Really. It's not to say like, oh, some people, and I'm a badass. Oh, no, no, some people just don't that's have not, it in them. That's not what it is. It's just, it is what, there's some people that are really peaceful because yeah. they're capable of whatever, and some people that are not, and it's fine because we need the balance of both. I think you're actually right. Yeah, there are some people who just can't switch no, it on they ever. Can, no, they, and they will, they would never, yeah. never, which is fine because it brings balance. Yeah, because if we were all animals, it wouldn't work. The yin and the yang. The yin and the yang. Did you like uh did you like the fights that we saw? It was good. It was good. Uh Ali Ali's fight was not the most exciting just because uh, it was very strategic. Yeah. And the guy I guy kept fucking running away. I, I see that yeah, because He had none to lose. He had already qualified. He already yeah. qualified. I didn't know that. They told me after. Yeah, you already qualified and stuff like that. Cause I saw the standing and shit. So it was just being and I saw when Faraz Raz's coach. Yeah. When he went to, to to talk to him in the first round, he's like, they didn't really do nothing, but he did more than the, the other dude, the, the, this opponent. And Faraz went, Yeah, you're doing great. And I was like, What the fuck is that about? You don't want to you don't want him to kill his motherfucker? And I was like, Okay, this is this is strategic. It has to it's be chess. And then he told me after the fight, Ali told me that, no no man, I gotta fight in seven weeks. I'm not gonna fucking Try to I'm get not killed. Yeah. Get like in a tired, fight, break in a something. War, yeah. break something. The guy doesn't want to fight. Myself. The guy doesn't want to fight. I keep it at. I keep him at bay. I get this W. I do what I gotta do. And I was like, yeah, that's strategic. Yeah, because the semifinals are next. Exactly. So you don't want to burn yourself. You don't want to burn yourself before that. But yeah, all in all, the fights were good. I think it's something that I'm gonna do more. Go to fights? Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. I want to go to more fights. Yeah. I had a fucking awesome time. Yeah, but only if I'm VVIP. Oh, we have to. We're going to see what happens in New York in August. We'll see if we get VVIP again. That's Because they're going to New York. That's where the semis are going to be. In New York? Yeah, so it's going to be closer. August. He's going to fight in August. What's, what day? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to go check online if they have it out yet. We, we should look at that if it's available. Oh, fuck. I know, because it's so close. This I'm one's even... go fuck it up in New York. Bro, Atlanta was... Atlanta, you got recognized a lot. Atlanta, it's funny when the, the 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 only time that I laughed when you got recognized that I found just it seemed like I a wholesome moment. <laughs> the security guard, you sit there and just comes over, he leans over, he's like, "Yo, preach, I love what you do, man." Yeah. And he goes, "He's like, F- I love what you do. You protected me." Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, yeah, out here with a gun, <laughs> but your life <laughs> for your for our safety. It's funny in the mall when we went to when we went to shop with with uh, Michelle with Michelle. <clears throat> It was the girls that was recognizing me. And they were acting like they looking and staring. And I'm like, at first I didn't get it. I was like, damn, okay. I'm handsome as okay, fuck. they think I'm QQ, yeah. cute, cute, but bitch, you with your man. Don't be doing shit like that. I ain't trying to be in no trouble. <laughs> yeah. no. Why are you looking at that guy? There's a whole girl. There's a whole girl. Okay. She was, she was, she had her her man, she was she was holding her man's hand. And she was pregnant. 
She had a whole last baby in her belly. And I was like, you looking at me like that, girl? Don't, hey, I don't want no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have that guy think that's mine. He's going to think that's mine. Hey, 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 girl, don't put me in no trouble with your baby dad. I don't want to date. I don't need look at that. Like that. Now I'm going to have to scrap. Motherfucker didn't do shit. He's like, mm-hmm. And he kept walking. But his girl was looking. Shout outs to you if you're looking at this. But yeah. God <laughs> damn. And she, and no, no, she turned. She double, triple, she double, triple take. You know what it is? It's seeing. It's people when they see you and they're used to your voice. They're used to you. Yeah. They see you on screen or they yeah. listen to you. They know you. Yeah. They, they they have a connection. Because that's what happens to me sometimes here with, with, with the French cast. And to me, it's like, oh, hey. But I, I can't grasp the fact that they live with you. You know, they know you, they, they see they're you every day, you're part routine. of their routine. So yeah. that's why sometimes it's shocking. It's like, how are you out of the screen? Because all I know you is in this yeah. context. Yeah, you're a real ass. Yeah, person. how are you now here? And they, 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 like, they know they don't know where we're from. Or that's what it is. Like they know that we're from Montreal and I'm in Atlanta. Yeah, Rand, that must have been a random, shock for them. They're yeah. like, I saw you this morning. You're not you supposed look to alike? be here. Yeah, yeah. You look like Preach. I am Preach. I'm Preach. Preach. Oh, we went to a gay bar by accident. My accident. That was fun. We wanted a drink. But well, we bar. couldn't have a drink. It was uh We couldn't. The accident. They, they knew we weren't gay. They're like, fuck wait, these wait guys. A, wait a minute. What you trying to say, bro? <laughs> What'd you say? No, What'd explain you yourself. No, no. Well, this motherfucker went by accident. <laughs> <laughs> explain yourself. What, what? I, I'm just saying. Oh, no. I only meant by accident. Like, we didn't we didn't go on purpose. Like, there was a bar next to we where the shops we were. Ooh, gay. Yeah, yeah. We didn't do we that. Didn't, no, I know. I we know, said, let's so grab a drink. And then I walked it. And we were standing there looking around. And I was like. It's a gay bar. And then Mike was like, it's not a gay bar. And then I looked around everything. The rainbow flags, the dudes with dudes everywhere. Because it like, doesn't look, it doesn't, because even, like, yeah, it doesn't look, it didn't look gay. There was not people, like, <laughs> that, that bar- on the floor. You know what I mean? ta ta da da ta da ta 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 da da ta ta it was not none of that. Cool you know bar, what I mean? though. But it was a cool bar, but couldn't Only get no service. service. I guess I was not cute enough. That's what it was. That's what they noticed right I away. I was like, ugh, sis. Yeah, yeah look at these heteros. <laughs> look <laughs> at these heteros. Ugh. That's what happened. It looked, like, was, a pirate. <laughs> it looked like a pirate ship. It looked cool from the outside. Yeah, it was it actually like a, a cool-ass bar. Yeah, it, look, yeah, it looked yeah. like a pirate ship. It was a fucking cool-ass bar. I wish I could have drank there, but they didn't let us. Uh, and then uh, there was a lot of cool little shops. There was a lot of guns. The security guard, I hadn't noticed at the liquor store that he had guns. Yeah. You're the one who noticed. I noticed his vest because he was a thin guy, a small guy. Yeah. And he had a big vest. Yeah. It made me laugh. I didn't even pay attention to the fact the guy was fucking yeah. I was like, oh, shit, that's a nice Glock 19. <laughs> God damn, bro. They have, oh, private flights now. Here's the thing. We got to fly private because <laughs> uh, we're a bunch of cool ass dudes. Because um, they canceled their flight and they didn't want to cancel the show. Th- that was the thing. Mike refused <clears throat> to cancel so the show. So we're supposed to come back on Saturday. We were supposed to come back on Saturday, Saturday morning, uh, Friday morning. We get up uh, to an email that our flights are canceled, but we need to get back on the show because on Saturday, the next day morning, we have a show at four and we have a show at uh, at eight. And they told us that our show's canceled. So now we want to go back. And Mike is, if he's not sick, he's not canceling. Yeah. We're doing the goddamn show. And then we could, he was trying to charter, he was trying to find on a website, we couldn't find a good place to charter. So then we we thought, I'm like, Let's message people that would know about this. So I messaged Chris Ramsey because he knows about this. And he told me I only know for like the States. He didn't know going to Canada. Uh-huh. And Mike sends a message to Andrew Schultz because he's like, maybe he knows someone. And Schultz is the one I think that gave him yes, the, the, yeah. the company, which they fucking pulled through. He's like, check these guys. It was just fucking retardedly expensive. But they pulled through and it, they saved us. But uh, God it, it damn. Is, it is expensive. God damn, is it expensive. Because I thought that, that flame would have been bigger. For that price. For that price? Yeah. I thought the plane would have been bigger. But that's what we need I, friends. I thought I didn't need to, like, crouch to get to my seat. Well, but we're, we're not small guys either, huh? Anybody would have crouched. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was small. Yeah. It was a small plane. but and, and, and you couldn't recline your seat. Yeah, I didn't like, like that. Like, I had to recline my seat. You know what I mean? You know what we have to do? We have to get friendly with actual companies that do that so they can give us the friend pricing. There is a uh, company called Victor. I was looking at that shit. Here? I don't know. They're you gotta get the tight with these people. Uh, we need friend prices. Friend prices, uh, this is what I was telling people, it becomes affordable. Because if you're all pitching in, even if it's 15, 20 Gs, and you're eight people, and you're dropping two Gs each, it's more like worth it. At that price, I can only do that like 
once a month. But <laughs> but what people don't like this motherfucker flexing. Dude, Schultz was right when he came on two drink minimum. Remember when he said yeah, it's completely different, dude. Private fucking, air charter. Oh, I like this. Okay, let's look at this, bro. Dude, here's what's fucked up about it. There's no, you just show up and walk on the plane. There's no three hour wait at the, none of that no, shit. No, you no, walk no. in, you get on the no. fucking plane, and you go. When you land, no customs, none of that bullshit. The, the, the rich live way different lives. Oh, definitely. God damn. I, I was shocked when we got off the plane. Definitely. I was like, is that it? I can just walk out into the street? Yeah, definitely. No stress? So that's, why, that's why I understood how certain stars get caught crossing the border with. Oh yeah, yeah, because they're like, oh, they're not gonna check. On them. Yeah, yeah. Like you, and people, when people are like, you try to cross the border with drugs. This motherfucker is. Uh, first time he took a plane was when he was rich, rich, and so he thinks that that's how it works. Yeah. His reality is not his real. He from the hood, so he never traveled. He doesn't know nobody that traveled. He from the hood. Then he makes it, right? He fucking makes it. Everything is all right. <laughs> Everything is big. He has drugs on him, and he can just. Go from one airport or no to another airport. They don't check him, yeah. and then he gets to that one airport where they check him, and he gets caught. That's the, I get it now. That's a good observation. I fucking get it. Yeah, because it's a complete different life. I fucking get it. At first, I was like, "You stupid." They don't live our lives. I think I, there was a little Wayne or some other motherfucker that got caught. That's how Juice World died. Isn't that how Juice World died? Uh, no, I think it was an overdose. Juice World. Yeah, because he swallowed all the pills. Oh, at the airport. Oh, he went to an actual airport. He didn't realize that they're going to check him at a real I airport. I think so. I think that's what happened. Transported to nearby uh, Advocate Christ Medical Center. Right? Uh, how did he? Oh, he did. Okay. How did Juice World die? Yeah, he was he got a seizure when he was in the airplane. Uh, death. Want to read that beside oh, him? Oh, shit. On December 8, 2019, Higgins was aboard a private Gulfstream jet flying from Van Nuys Airport that in night. Los Angeles to Midway International Airport in Chicago. Law enforcement officers were waiting for the jet to arrive, having been notified by federal agents while the flight was en route that they suspected there were guns and drugs on the plane. Yeah. Law enforcement officials later revealed that they found 70 pounds of marijuana on the aircraft and said several members of Higgins' management team aboard the flight told them that Higgins had taken several Unknown pills, including allegedly swallowing multiple Percocet pills uh, to hide them while police were on board the plane. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, oh, shit. That's what I said. Uh, but you know, you know, oh, that's crazy. That's what I said. They made it seem How long like, uh, like uh, he over, like he was just doing drugs. Nah, from he was not just doing uh, drugs. He was hiding that shit. Oh, people are liars. That, oh, people, people are liars. Right, it's right Wait, there. From it's Van right Nuys? There. there you go. There you I go. I didn't know that. There you go. So whenever they get caught, that's what oh. happened. So now but he, from Van Nuys, so now he's, landing, he's, landing, he's landing on the airport. You got all these motherfuckers, all these, these uh, law enforcement there. He's like, oh, shit. They they coming for us. If they get us, we gun. So he hides the shit, and that's how he died. And also, you can't really make up a good excuse for 40 pounds of weed. 70, Se I 70. believe. 70, yeah. yeah. There's no good excuse that's going to work on them. I don't know. Why well, you have 70 pounds of weed? 70 pounds of weed. <laughs> but that's why. God that's, damn, that's a hell of a big-ass salad. That, shit. But that's why you can't really uh, you can't excuse that. 70 pounds? 70 pounds a lot. That's a lot of weed. Yeah. So. That's 70 pounds a lot. Oh, fuck. Poor guy, so bro. So imagine... But imagine he was getting like he was booming, and then well, that's what happened. So imagine this this kid, he don't travel never in his life, don't know how it is. First time he travels, it's like that. So he thinks shit is like that. Yeah. And then you become to a level, I'm not excusing him, I'm just saying. And then he doesn't know how it is. He, he thinks it's like that. And some people, some stars are, are surrounded by yes men. I tell them, oh, yeah, everything they do is great. Everything is all right. We'll, we'll accommodate you. And I they will. That. I work for those people. I witnessed I'm not that talking recently. about Mike. I'm no, talking no, no. about. I, you know what I'm I talking worked, about? I'm talking about when I worked at the hotel. But you know what we were talking about earlier? I'm not going to. You know who, what we were talking about earlier when yeah. I gave you the skin? Yeah. I witnessed that big time. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is weird. That's why I had yeah. to bounce. Yeah, but a bunch of yes men and stuff yeah. like that. So, and that's what happened. So, you happen at, and then you, you, you come with the. You come face to face with reality. With reality, and it's what happened. That's how he died. Fuck, bro, that's sad, that bro. Sad? What a useless death. It's not like he decided to, yeah, I'm gonna do drugs and then he's not at all. Nah. Panic. Panic. 
Now I don't even feel bad. I used to feel bad. I was like, oh, poor guy who was in his prime and shit. Now I feel bad. I feel more bad. Because if it was him, if it was him like being reckless or like, well, that's, not, yeah. that's not what happened. I'd be like, you're but a fucking idiot. Reckless. Now, no, no, it's fear. It's reckless. It's, it's fear, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's fear. It's, it's fear. But, it's, it's, but he's not wrong, though, that it's reckless. No, it's, it's, but it's fear because you don't know what's going to happen. I understand. But fear can make you act reckless. Yeah. That's, reckless. that's reckless. Let me swallow all the pills to hide them. What's the worst he would have got? Jail time? Or just fines? Motherfuckers, yeah. Jail it's time, jail time probably, scared the shit out of you. He would have made bail too, probably, though, if he was making bail. It depends. Bail. Where it's a lot of... You could, he was, he was ma- yeah, he was making... He was, he's making bank. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it would have been possible. The problem is that you can argue, and I don't think he was, but if there's a certain amount, you can argue that it was meant to distribute or whatever, that's where you're fucked. If they can argue in court, be like, this guy was trying to sell, you're fucked. Yeah, but one of his guys would have taken it. Yeah, they would have taken it. He'd be like, it's me. They didn't even know. Yeah, he may have uh, overreacted on this you one. You overreacted. Swallow all the perks. God damn. And then he got a seizure and he died. I they feel made bad, it bro. Seem, the way they made his death seem was because he was depressed all the time. He would do so many drugs and he ended up overdosing. That's what I He was understood. depressed because he heard the police were coming on board. That's, <laughs> not, what happened. That's not what happened. But that's not at all what happened, which... Makes me, I don't know, I I, I guess because I'm a little upset that I was, uh, that I've been bamboozled. You've been misled. Yeah, I've been misled. You, the know? media misled you? That never <laughs> happens. Basically, what happened is that whenever you hear a story like that, always fucking research. Yeah. yeah. These motherfuckers are lying. Yeah. Always fucking research. Bro, watch the channel. That's what I've been preaching to. They break it down for you so you don't have to, bro. <laughs> but I fucked up, yeah. So, yeah, Victor is a company that does that. We're going to start using that shit. Uh... I'll see what the prices are because goddamn, right? Yeah, well, no, goddamn what we saw over the weekend. But remember, that was one day notice, not yeah, even. Yeah. It was all the circumstances yeah. of let me overcharge these guys. Yeah. The next one is really planned. Need it. Exactly. Yeah. But I could do that. Dude. I'll check with Victor. Dude, this might I'll be check, a thing now. I'll check with companies what the fuck that could because that was, that was the life. We didn't do nothing reckless in the plane. Nothing. It's just, it was just us. You slept. It was literally nothing yeah. reckless. Yeah, I would have slept more if I could yeah. recline my shit. Yeah, if I could recline, I would have passed out the whole. I oh, had my yeah. headphones. I was listening to uh, everyone argue around me. But no, no, dude, it's something. If Until you experience it, you have no idea how crazy it is to just. It's like a taxi. You just walk onto an airstrip, get into a plane, and then you're in another country, and then you just leave. See, you get you. How much did it cost to charter All a right. plane, so a private for, jet? Go ahead. A smaller jet is about $1,300 to $3,000. That's worth it. In, in USD. Oh, per hour. But it's smaller. It's uh, per hour, but it's smaller than what we had. Yeah, but per hour, but here's the thing. It's only worth it, I guess, for smaller distances because if you're flying to Europe, it might not be worth it like oh, uh, no, it's not 15 Gs a person. You're going to pay 100000 yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, that's it's not, not worth it. But I think, I think that... I think Go to that, New York or whatever, we're fucking paying two, three yeah. Gs? Yeah, I yeah. think that, that was the last... I think that was, a, I think that was the price that Mike paid was not even that expensive. For where we went? I think so. Maybe you got a deal. I think so. And then if you want a uh, mid-sized to super mid-sized jet, is 3000 to 5500 And then if you want a large private jet, it's 6000 to 10500 per, per hour. Per hour. Per, per hour. hour. Yeah. Per hour per person or per hour in general? No, per hour in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you yeah, have yeah, eight yeah. people, you can divide that shit. It's not the craziest thing in the world. If you're with your homies yeah. and everyone's pitching in, this becomes a smarter idea than getting regular fucking tickets. And you and your homies all oh, have- hey, You don't have to Thank deal with shit. You don't have to deal with anyone busting your balls. Yeah, five times five. A mid is what we had. That was fucking nice. Yeah. <clears throat> we start using private jets all the time, bro. <laughs> Makes sense. I can't go. Poseidon's been spoiled now. Poseidon's fucked. How's this he guy? gonna go back to reality? This is, this bro, guy, he lived the dream. This guy's living the dream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in this oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> and you know what? He loves every moment of it. I appreciate it. That's what I was telling you. I would have done the same thing. Mother, I'm doing the same thing. He realized <laughs> at a moment where he was eating Chick-fil-A, I think the second Chick-fil-A, he's like, I got to try the spicy one. And he was just looking around, taking it all in. He's like, oh, he was basking in it. Oh, yeah. you noticed that? Yeah, bro, he was looking around being like, I'm dressed like a Colombian drug lord. <laughs> he's month. a comic. He's a comic this and a month. YouTube star. He's another comic. There's agents. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm just enjoying everything. He said to himself, I am V, VIP. All the pictures that fucking, Dan, uh, that Michelle oh, took. Oh, he looked awesome. Embodies Him. how we felt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there was a it moment. Embodies how we felt. Like, boss. 
there was a moment that night that I hope everyone I can, else caught. Yeah. That I was dying of it was back. So we go back to the house, which was a crazy house. Yeah. By the way, there crazy was a house, house, then there was a second house yeah. that was just for you. You decided yeah. you needed a house. Yeah. But at the I house I didn't decide I needed a house. <laughs> yeah, you did. You chose. I didn't decide it. I said the universe decided. Faith the universe, did. yeah, faith, faith did. did, and I was like, okay, faith, I'll take that. So we're in, we're in. It's about like two in the morning, and everyone is there. They came back after the fight, so it's uh, Oli's there, Firas is there, the trainers friends, are there, yeah. everyone's there. The house, Mike Ward, me, you, we're all sitting. And I was saying, what the fuck? Poseidon had disappeared. We hadn't seen him. Everyone's just chilling downstairs. We hadn't seen him. Poseidon comes down in shorts and a t-shirt, like super comfortable, like you know, I'm at home. Here's my pajamas. We're in mid conversation. He's like. He's tapping his stomach And I go What happened to you bro I, 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 Like you went to sleep He's like I took a huge shit <laughs> Took a huge shit boys And he's looking around Everyone was in mid course About fights And he just walks off and it's like What a weird scenario Where there's Olivier Aubin Who just clinched He's going to the playoffs Me You are there George and Pierre's agents there Ferraz is there Mike's there Mish Everyone's there Poseidon comes downstairs I took a huge shit And then walks off And it's just normal You know why he did it <laughs> You know why he did it Cause he could. Cause he could. That's a, there you go. <laughs> there you go. But that's the whole. I can't basking. be mad at that. Enjoy the moment. I was yeah. like, oof. Oh yeah. yeah. I, 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 Everybody's good. Yeah. They happy. We got pizza. I just took a huge shit. Yeah. Life is good. <laughs> the fuck you want me to say to that? Yeah, boy. <laughs> See, I just said, boy. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah live your goddamn mm. life. God, I can't. I can't be mad at that. She literally shit. Don't get used to saying boy in the wrong places though, because like nah, you told well, me, it sounds yeah, demeaning to like, some yeah, people. You like and, you're a child. You and the N word. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> I just kidding. Hey, you never you. said that shit. <laughs> All the That's time. Uh, All but, the, in but, traffic. But yeah. When I'm waiting. <laughs> well, when I'm waiting to be served at a restaurant, <laughs> I snap my fingers and yell it out. I'm not allowed in many restaurants anymore. By the way, preachers because of that. It's behavior. okay. I am mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you and the N word. That'd be the best customer service. I thing. think it's a wine or a beer that's called Bitch Please. Oh, that's actually funny. Can I have another bitch, please? <laughs> I could play with that. Take it out. <clears throat> Who makes it? Alcohol. The bitch recipe? The oh the bitch is a drink, okay. Is it bitch please or Yes. The bitch, yeah. please. Brew dog, untapped. Click on that. Bitch, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a beer. I'll take another bitch, please. Fuck. People are crafty, That's bro. Smart. That's great. That's yeah. great. That'll sell. That's smart. Bitch, please. Let me put it up for the peeps. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that looks cool, too. I like the little logo. But, yeah. So, he could. You took a you shit. You said that, and it is what it is. But those moments... Those are what he's gonna always like. Just let me just enjoy the moment. I'm just having. I took a shit. I, I had. I was at the arena. I was VVIP. I, I ate my Chick Fil A. Like it's just. Let me enjoy it. Oh yeah, I never had Chick Fil A. That's the worst thing. You tried that. I never had Chick Fil A, and I was like, okay, well tonight. It's good, I, right? I guess tonight is the night. And I had Chick Fil A. <laughs> I liked it, it over was, the Popeyes. Bitch, it was on demand. I was different, but it was. It was. It. It. Okay, I understand the hype. I get the hype too. I get the hype. And it was not, like, it was on the, the table. It was not, like, it was right there on the table. It's not like I just got it. It was right there. It was good. It changed my beliefs. I fucking ate it. I was like, gay people should not get married. Gay people should not get married. <laughs> <laughs> that was their whole thing. You remember? Yeah, man. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up and make food. Did they say something? <clears throat> Did they have a statement? Or was it because they were... Uh, they super Christian. They super, that's what it was, eh? They're not open on Sundays. Yeah, that makes me laugh. I told him yesterday. He's like, "They're open on Sundays." Like, we had a great business. <laughs> There's a day that we don't need to make money. You How? remember the tweet I sent you? Nah. Well, it's, that's a that's a very vague it's question. Basically, a a, a, a Chick Fil A store, and there's a rainbow coming out of it. And they're like, uh, Chick Fil A, explain this. And then uh, Chick Fil A retweets, "Delete that shit right now." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It was delicious though. It was good. It was, it was good. good. It was fun times. <clears throat> it was fun times. It's cool that they have their own little arena, like a hometown where it's just the PFL right now. They travel a bit, but they have their own spot. Normally, everyone travels, and then they have no. no this is our home base. That's I like their that. Own, that was their home base. That's their home base. Yeah. Okay, that just showed. Yeah. Cause that shit was on deck. Yeah, like that's the why quality they, the of quality them. was up. Dude, you mentioned it. Thank God someone noticed it, and it was you. The screens. 
with no edge. I was like, what the fuck is I kept that? staring at it. I was like, this is amazing. It's like, there's no edge. It, the image is crispy, motherfucking oh. clean. The quality of the PFL, for real, PFL. Shout outs to you, my dogs, because you, you, okay. And you got, you got, you got Lillian Garcia. Yeah. I miss Lillian. I like seeing her there. I, I think she, I don't know if it's the owner of PFL, but I think she's married to like a billionaire or some shit. I'm out of there. Yeah, I, th- I don't know if it's the owner of PFL, but I think it's it's um, somebody in, in that realm, maybe. But yeah, it was cool <coughs> to see, just to hear her voice. Lilla. She has a great voice. A for great that. announcing voice. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, PFL, underrated. Underrated. I feel the I, same I, way. I, I feel like, it, like PFL is highly underrated. The pro fight league for people. Uh, the pro fighters league. The for pro people. fighter leagues. Yeah. And yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm going back for sure. You know what I like about them? What? I, I was saying it for us too. So the UFC, which I fucking love as well, it, the standings are always weird to me when they choose title fights, right? It's kind of like boxing. It's like, no, this is the hype fight. And what I like about PFL is that you can actually, even if you're not the most charismatic person, if you're technically the best, you could earn your way to the top because no, it's a playoff structure. You win or you don't. Yeah, that's it. It has nothing to do and with your, your at, post-match. At, <clears throat> I feel like UFC sometimes is really just, yeah, you won, but... You're not interesting. Yeah. And I need to sell tickets. Exactly. I need to sell pay-per-views. Whereas you know, PFL could make stars now because of this system. Yeah, it was a struggle like that because they were saying that that George was not the most interesting fighter. But I was like, he's a technician. He's a surgeon. He's a surgeon. He's not about all that. Ooh, I'm gonna take a rip. For what? I'm a I'm a I'm a fuck you up strategically. Yeah. Why would I risk but getting that, killed? Don't really win win tickets. Yeah. Like, the UFC didn't come back to to Canada, to Montreal. She should have. Why? For who? Oh, you think the other fighters We don't buy sell. tickets. Let's be honest. We don't buy tickets. They were actually right. We don't buy tickets. We don't. What do you think that is? Because they were, because Quebecs are, or we're not a fan of MMA. They we're a fan of GSP. Interesting. Interesting. They're a fan of GSP. They're not watching MMA. The, you, the people that are watching it, there's a few people that watch MMA. We're fans of we're fan of hockey. People will watch people will watch hockey, but then again, what happened when the playoffs is done and the Canadians is not there? All the bars are dead. Yeah, and you, you could argue yeah. that's everywhere. Yeah, sure, that's everywhere. But we're fans of but, the Canadians. Yeah, and then hockey. That's a good observation, and I think you're right. That's a very good observation. Like, do Quebec city people make money off of the, Toronto the playoffs Raptors? and stuff like that? No, because they ain't got no team. So, yeah. it's okay. But if they were just hockey first, then they would because people would just be interested in the hockey. It's, it's, it's like there's people, of, of fans of football. Like, if you go to Haiti, everybody that has a TV and that don't have a TV knows what the scores are of the World Cup. Yeah. Motherfucker, they watching. They country is not even in that And bitch. they're watching, yeah. They watching that shit. In uh, remember when the Raptors in twenty nineteen won? Yeah. What the fur one of those games <coughs> I was in Texas. So I went to a bar. Oh, no, was it? I went to a bar to watch alone. Because I didn't have like I was working and then I didn't have any friends there. So yeah. I just went to a bar alone. And people were watching it, even though there was no te- it was Golden State. There was no Texas team. No, in there. it was it was it was that. But they were watching and they were as excited as I was. Yeah. I was getting passionate and they yeah. were getting passionate for me. Yeah. You know, they're like, okay, yeah. so we're switching, we're gonna go yeah. with this guy because he seems he cares. Yeah. But they were watching, it was on yeah. the screen and people were excited about it. Yeah, people don't give yeah. a fuck here. So they were not a fan of it was MMA. a good experience. They're not a fan of MMA here. There's a lot of people that like MMA that like MMA. Fans is another term. Yeah. Right? So they were really a fan of GSP. So now I don't think they would be able to sell tickets. And the people that would buy the tickets and say they would go to Centre Bell, it would be us. Yeah. It would be pretty right? empty. Because we don't have to take a, a jet plane to go back home. Yeah, we're right and, here. Yeah, and, and people from Toronto, New York, every all the states around. Because, you know, they still think that Montreal is a part of the city, which is not it's, anymore. It stopped being. It's a different. Even me coming here today, dude, I, I should be here in six minutes. It took me 25. I know. I got stuck. They've destroyed this place. Yeah. Yeah. The mayor killed a cat. Yeah. Yeah. The mayor fucked us. 
Hard. Complete uh, destruction of the city. If people <coughs> still view it as a party town, we weren't here for the Grand Prix. We were we flew in on Saturday. We flew back on Saturday. And I'm I don't happy know how I was. wasn't. Yeah, I'm happy I wasn't because of traffic. <coughs> I wonder if people enjoyed them. So I heard there was a lot of rain and shit. So I don't know if they had a good time here. It was super rainy. Yeah. So that's the thing. So we made the Quebec best is not a fan of MMA. They're a fan of uh, Quebecers. Of, of Quebecers. Of underdogs. Underdog. I love underdogs too. Yeah. Yeah. We we picked a lot of underdogs during the fights too. It depends. I, I I was before I made my choice. I was looking at the first round because I didn't know these guys. Most of these guys I didn't know. Yeah, especially the undercards. We didn't know anyone. No, there was that guy from international. Some good, some good, huh. <laughs> Dagestan was it? Yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to say Russia anymore. So he was international. His shirt wrote Dagestan. So you know after. That's crazy though. But yeah, you can't say Russia no more. Who gives a fuck? What a dumb fucking thing. No, nobody gives a fuck. But you're in the states. You know, people give a fuck. But this is Louis C. This is Louis C.K.'s joke, eh? Of uh, remember the N-word joke. He goes, "If you say, if you t- oh, he said the yeah, you're you saying inter- the word. Yeah, you said international, and you made me think of Russia. You're putting me in my head. Why you're saying it? the same oh, thing. Oh, Russia. Yeah, you're putting it in my head. You're saying the same thing, yeah. and you're it's the it's like, dude, I know what you're doing. So why don't you just say it? It's we know it's Russia. Why? What's this charade? Yeah, and if they actually just said Russia, would kind of. Like pass under the radar. But yeah, nobody would care because you say international. Now it's like, but it would oh. get booed. Uh you think so? I don't know if it would get booed because they were oh. booing some weird shit. They might have been for the Russians. I have no idea. That crowd at some points were fucking shockingly yeah, uh, uneducated drunk, when it came drunk, to MMA. Yeah, drunk, drunk, drunk is the word you're looking for. There were moments, bro, where I was like, "What the fuck are they? Why, booing? why are you booing? This yeah. is fucking technical. This is." Yeah. But people I want to get knocked out. No, they want to see two people fighting and throw fists for no reason. Just bam, 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 bam. But the higher you go, the higher level, of course, they're going to be more strategic. No one's going to risk That's getting killed. That's not what killed. they want to see. These sons of bitches. That's not what they want to see. Why they weren't in the VVIP, bro. That's why they were not in the VVIP. We wouldn't want them in the VVIP. I never knew VVIP was a thing. Now I have to make VVIP I heard it once, but actually be VVIP? Absurd. And people usually use that term just to, you know, be interesting. No, we were actually, we actually. It was our own section. It was just us. Yeah. It was the TV us. people. Yeah. yeah. In front of us. Like they had in their, we, there was this one section of seats I for us. I was standing up behind my seat and I thought, wow, I'm, I'll wait till they like tell me, sit down, sir. Tell me shit. No one's telling us anything. Like, no, that's your section. You do. You. Yeah. You do whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, we were yelling. Yeah. We were going against the crowd. And yeah, my voice is still not back. Yeah. Him, he lost his voice for a bit too. Yeah, it was funny because going there, I was like, look, I, I, I love fighting sports, but I told myself, you're a grown man, compose yourself. By the second fight, that was out the window. I was By like, the yelling. second fight? Yeah, uh, well. By the so second? The, boy, that's cap. Halfway to the first. Boy, that's cap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it already started boy, by the first. Cap. But I really lost boy, my composure that's by cap. the second. You lost your shit when the ring girl came on the ring. Oh, yeah. It was before the yeah. fight. I saw you. I was with you. The screaming. small one with a big Stop. ass? He lost his the, shit. He's like. The small one with the big but ass. But she had an ass, bro. She, she, she had glutes. Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. I was like, hello? Glute Maximus. Yeah. I was like, God damn, yeah. bro. <laughs> I was like, very, very yeah. tiny lady. However, packing some heat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Party in the back. Yeah, that was a huge party in the back. God damn. We, I had never noticed uh, the difference in, in ring girls until that night where the UFC has taller, like they have their own structure. Yeah. The, the ring girls at the PFL are completely different. Which is fine. Oh, yeah. Of course it's fine. Which is fine. That's what that you girl, need. That girl, like had, variety. that girl had a cha- that the shape of a, a, a Austin Mini. <laughs> but had a fucking uh, Austin Mini. What is that? That's a Mini Cooper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. She did. Yeah, she, she had, she had the, the the size of a Mini Cooper. But yeah, she was a Mini shit, Cooper. The trunk of a fucking Ram, bro. Uh, and it was a very nice trunk. Very nice trunk. A shaped, shapely woman. It looks squishy. <laughs> Gotta admit, it was, was, it was comfortable. Comfortable. Oh, oh I look yeah. Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. You can just rest on oh it. Oh my yeah. God, look at those men commenting. On, <laughs> look at those men commenting on a girl's booty. Listen. It was fun having the guys around listen, the ring look at us when we were listen, saying shit. If you were there, you would have said the same thing. Oh, yeah. Have, oh, no, no. No one no one was denying what we're saying. And the thing is that, I, the, that what I could appreciate is that that, that, that that ass was natural. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Both girls were natural. Yeah. Yeah. Not, no, not no, not, no. Not the, the first one was one. natural. No, well, not her ass, yeah, but not her titties. Her titties weren't natural. The first one, no, the first one, the the Asian girl, she didn't have. She it was. 
You think that was no, her titties oh, yeah. were she had like a reduction, you think? No, she had like something that was a bit more augmented. Really? Well, I believe that's not really the shape that she was supposed to be. Oh, I didn't I mean I didn't it notice was that. Augmented. It was augmented for a shape. I augmented, yeah. I think it was. Maybe. Yeah. I didn't pay or that. Well, she had a push up with some shit, but it's some shit that was like not natural. I didn't even notice. Gravity don't work like that. I'm more of an ass guy, so my, my eyes generally was, go to the ass, yeah. 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 You know, I'm a jack of all trade. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest uh, I got variety I can look here I can look there Up, down I look my eyes going Jack of all trade Master of nobody Jack of all Well actually you are A renaissance man uh, we, We're renaissance men Because we do it all There's the podcasting The stand up You the fucking fighting We do a lot of shit Yeah Acting You also do acting Yeah Voice yeah, we acting do a lot as of well shit. I heard you Where was it I had to message you I was like bro Are you doing this commercial Because I, I had my headphones yeah. on And there was YouTube videos yeah. playing and then a commercial came on yeah. here in French. And then it was one of those moments where I had to look behind me because I thought you were in my house <laughs> fucking with me. I was like, what the fuck, preach? And I was like, wait, that's the commercial. And then yeah, I was like, there's the no way someone sounds like him. Yeah, no, it was, it was me, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I was laughing. I was like, fucking preach, right in my head. Yeah, I do voice that's acting. Cool. It's good. And acting. You put the bass up. I, I try to. Yeah. I try to. I like to do that shit. It's funny. Oh, this summer, you're doing the big outdoor show. Yes, yeah, on the 22nd of July. How many people? I don't know. Are they expecting? I don't know. How many do they fit? First, we'll see if it don't rain. Don't say stuff like that, bro. Don't put that on the universe. Sunny. Sunny. Skies are clear. It rains, I get paid. It don't rain, I get paid. At the end of the day. I hope it rains is what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm doing your show. Yeah. On Dude, the 28th. This is, not my, this is our show. This is going to be a party. I'm going to be like chilling, talking with people. It's in English? I'll no, it's it. in French. It's in French. The 28th? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the 28th is in French. Cool. Yeah, and we have a fucking, you know the crew. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. And I have some surprises planned. Actually, I'm going to tell you something when we're, when we're off air. I'm going to tell you something I got planned. Okay. Because uh, I want it to be a surprise. But I think you're going to appreciate it. Okay. But so you're just going to let the people not know and we go. Oh, oh, oh. They're going to find out. They're going to all see it after July. Just go, just go on the show. Uh, oh, if you're in Montreal and you speak French, how are you going to miss the Rebels? It's the French nasty show. Yeah. And Preach is there. I'm there. Thomas Levac is there. Uh, Maxime Martin is there. Um, God damn, dude. Uh, see, I can't, I'm scared to give away secret names. You know well, you know the main secret yeah, guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to give away... Uh, just be JF there. Mercier is there. It's going to be crazy. Just, just soy you look, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just worth it. You know my name. Yeah, it's... Uh, Speak yeah. French, just go. Yeah. There's no reason not to. And you're going to have a fucked up night that night, the 22nd, because the Bell Center's first. Yeah, I opened for Mike. Then, so the Bell Center is already uh, all over 21,000 seats sold. So you're going to go from uh, 21,000 people mm -hmm. to potentially, was it 15 or 30 out, outdoors? It's a lot, bro. I know we did 28. That's what I'm thinking. I was thinking 30 in my head, yeah. So it's, you have the potential of seeing around maybe 40 to 50,000 people in the same day. You don't need 40 people. You know how 40, fucked up that is? It's a bit fucked up. Adrenaline high. Through the roof. It's going to be fucking nuts. I'm so excited, bro. Through the roof. I haven't been this excited in a while. I've been thinking about the Bell Center for months. I, I can see that. But I'm not like that. Me, I'm just more my present. Oh, I'm so excited. I think about... I, 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 you know why I'm excited? I'm excited because it's like... It, I keep feeling like, oh, man. The, the, like These are memories. These are moments. Other people... like I, I'm trying to appreciate. I, I try to appreciate more all the magic moments. Because it's like, fuck, one uh, different move or anyone else you ask, they're never going to get a chance to come close to experiencing this. And then we have the chance. So instead of being like... Uh, High and mighty about it, like it's my. It's more of like, oh fuck, I appreciate this. God damn, the universe has given some cool opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. Like I'm trying yeah. to appreciate every moment. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. But I'm just quit. Like I'm more like a moment, under moment dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like mama prison. Oh, yeah, we're so in I'm not thinking in. about the 22nd. I'm not thinking about the 28th. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing right now. I'm actually thinking about the 21st and 23rd more than anything. My hour in French. Because I don't oh, want to fuck that up. Oh, you do an hour. Yeah. Where? Twice. Uh, plus is our, uh, in, uh, in the small one. Salle 5? No, not Salle 5. Uh, the other small the one. The other, Claude Léveillé. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's dope. It's dope, but it's, it's uh, you know, you don't want to fuck that up. No, you don't. Because the thing is, with my sense of humor, if you have, if I have fans that come out, people, or dark humor fans, uh, black comedy, basically, they're going to have a great time. But if you got people who are just like, oh, shit, I'm at the festival. There's a guy here. He's got a cool poster. And you're soft. You get offended easy. 
Bro, that's going to be a rough hour. Doesn't matter. It's your fault. You no, no, I'm just saying that that'll make it weird. But I think most of my fans are going to fill out the tickets first anyway. Yeah, of course. So you won't notice. Of course. But and if they have a good just description. Yeah, they like do. If they don't write something like, hey, fun for the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I asked like <laughs> repeatedly, please describe it properly. Like if you even have to put an 18 plus, just make sure they know what the fuck they're getting yeah. into. Because or else uh, you get these fucking people like, oh my God, what did he say? It's all good. It's all jokes. Fuck lady. him up. It's like you when you go on when you have to explain to somebody you're like you know it's jokes right come you fucking tits fuck them up it's jokes bro fuck them up I am gonna fuck them up you uh, you and Abba are you are you preparing that fucking tour we're checking we're seeing how it goes it's a lot of work work uh, paper wise or work because of these fucking every, mandates every, are changing everything paper wise trying to get the visa making it work out there. Like how we're gonna proceed, get a booking or whatever or not, what we're gonna promote. It's, it's that. The visa's still in the works? Yep. Fucking takes time, huh? Time. Time and money. Time and money. God nah, damn. it is. I'm what? worried about one thing. What? Uh same thing. I, I wanna get my visa too. I, you know the thing that we're working on that show that I was telling you about? Yeah. Or selling. So part of the shit that I gotta do, I gotta be in the States to film it. Yeah. But if I'm filming in the States, I gotta have the visa. So now it's do we have to, that's the fucked up thing. Do we sell it? And then it's like, yo, we got to put the speed on this process. Mm -hmm. But how fast can the process go? Because mm -hmm. there's a million people yep. trying to do the same shit. Yep. So even if they want to get it done instantly, well, I'm at the at the end of the pile. Yep. So just getting to me is going to take a while. Yep. So I'm thinking this, I'm stressing about that. I'm like, oh, fuck, then I, I might have to find someone else to do that. And then I just got to like. Uh, no, get a lawyer, pay your shit, and have it done. So if I could sneak in and get it done ahead of time. Sneak in. You got to sneak in. Can't let these guys, bro. You gotta sneak in. I wish I could. Who's your lawyer? Well, who's your lawyer? You got a lawyer from here, right? Yeah, uh, no, from there. Okay, from there. If they're working on the paper, yeah, I don't remember their name, but they're good. I mean, so far, who did Sammy use? I don't know. He got his shit. I'm gonna ask Sammy too. He's got his shit pretty quick. I think that's who we're using. Yeah, that makes I think sense. That's the connect. Oh, that's the connect. All yeah. right, then it's good. I mean, he got it fucking... Yeah, we spoke to Sammy. Okay, okay. so he, he got it done pretty well. Because I was going to ask him. Who was supposed to come in, actually. Don't try to do this shit by yourself. You're not going to be able to do it. It's not going to work. You're going to fail. Yeah. You're going to. Yeah, no shit. It's all shit legal is, shit. This shit is complicated. You're going to make one wrong it's, mistake? It's made for He's a you. drug dealer! It's made for you to fail. It's made... It's constructed for you to fail. For you not to get it. Right. What are you trying to say that the government is setting us up? <laughs> Sir, <laughs> do you have a reason to show this type of distrust towards the federal government? Has the federal government done anything suspicious? I mean, where do you want me to start? <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, I have a list. Yeah, why would they fuck? Next thing you're going to tell me that the Clintons are not to be trusted. Well, what, what are you, one of these conspiracy theorists? That's that's not even what I'm saying. I'm just saying, don't do it alone. No, no I'm not going to do it alone. It's not going to happen. Not it's gonna not going to happen. Up. It's just not going to happen. It's just so crazy. Just the thing that they ask us, the thing that they ask us sometimes is dumb down. And I'm like, I'm too dumb for this shit. Like, it's, they it's, ask it in a way. Yeah, they, oh, you provide this paper and this paper and that and that and that. I'm like, I know nothing. You and me, we didn't go to the same school. Obviously, I went to high school. They went to law school. So yeah. <laughs> that's where, yeah. They fucking bunch of criminals. No How comments. do you feel about lawyers? I got lawyer friends and I tell them. I don't like lawyers. I don't trust a lawyer. Um... I mean, I trust a lawyer more than I trust a cop. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. Okay. You know that, why? That's, that's for sure. Because the cop is not there to help us. They're not. Okay, listen, bro. I believe it says to protect and serve. No, why are you starting that's rumors? Just, that's just the police in L.A. Oh. And see how but that they, turned out? They serve beatings. <laughs> they serve beatings to black man speeding. Yeah, protect the rich and serve the <laughs> and serve beatings. Yeah, uh, that's what it is. Yeah. But the, the, but the police is not really there to help you. They're not there to help you. They let here to police you. They're not here to help you. They are here to enforce help the city. Yeah, the system. So they, yeah, they're not. It's like it's like human resources. Human resources very is, inhuman. Human resources is to help 
the company. Yeah. That's why you have human Manage resources. Manage the resource, which is humans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah human that's, resources. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, like it's saying, not your resource. No, it's not you go to HR. It's not your resource. Yeah. You know, it's not your source. It's theirs. Yeah. Give me some human resources. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's like you thinking that you thinking that human resources it works for you is like thinking that the butcher works for the cattle. No, that's not how it works. So when HR started to become a thing was right towards the tail end of when I was working at EA. Uh huh. And I knew that stuff was shifting because for the first time ever, they had a thing where everyone was going in groups. HR was doing a seminar to teach you how not to sexually harass, uh, talk about religion, all that stuff, right? All shit that I was doing on a regular basis. So I had, it was my time to go and I'm walking. It was on the other floor and I, and I sit down and they're showing the video. They're like, you shouldn't do this at work. You can't say this. You can't say bitch. You can't. They were saying how you talk to people, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm watching everything. It's all shit I do. And then except for the sexual harassment stuff, all the swearing, and all, it's all me. Yeah. Politics, all this shit, religion, making fun of everything. So it stops and it's like, so you guys aware, like if ever you see this, it might happen once in a while. <laughs> I raise my hand, I go, I did all of that on the way here. <laughs> I, go, I go, and it's like, okay, well, you know, uh, you might make someone uncomfortable, so you shouldn't. And I was like, yeah, it's probably going to happen again. It's probably going to happen on the way back. <laughs> it's probably going to happen on the way back. And the guy didn't know what to do because he never dealt with someone not taking yeah, it serious. You think I'm going to change my behavior? Yeah, so like- he didn't know how to deal with it. He's like, uh, I go, have you received a complaint? No one's complaining. I- I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me. And then you stop working there. Yeah, I stopped working there. Yeah, I, yeah. I, but that's a, that's a, that's yeah. a thing. No, but I stopped working there because they they uh, downsized. They removed that entire uh, facility, and the only way I could keep my job there was if I wanted to move to Vancouver. They had another opening there. And I was like, I'm moving to fucking Vancouver, bro. Nah, man, for triple the fucking price of yeah, for triple the nah. uh, first of all, then I would be broke as fuck because the money yeah. wouldn't make any sense. And also, yeah. Vancouver would be fucking crazy. There's nothing out there. There's nothing out there for me. Except for depression. There's a lot of heroin addicts over there. Yes. They're in the streets. I don't want to live in a shanty town. If you town. live in BC, live in the Okanagan Valley. That's where I would live. Or I've heard Victoria, BC is nice. Sure. Crazy I don't know. Expensive. I don't know, though. Crazy expensive. Yeah, everything's Crazy fun. expensive. Crazy. No, I'm not doing that. No, you're a motherfucker in the nose. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not wearing a moon out. We're not. We're not. You, you're due soon to just be in the south somewhere. Make videos and then fucking just I'm chill. looking. It's just like the taxes are fucking us up. And then Bill C- C- C-11 is fucking us up. 96 also. Bill 96 my fuck us up. There's a lot of things that wants to try to fuck me. And not in the right places. No, the Bill C-11. Holy fuck. I never thought about you about that. About you too. You do. Oh, I'm going to get fucked. I already know. I'm already getting shadow banned. Bro, no one. People who subscribe to the channel. People who are subscribed yeah. tell me sometimes, like, hey, man, how come there hasn't been a podcast in a month or two? I go, what the fuck are you telling? There's one every week. There's, yeah. I do eight podcasts a week. There's a, it's cool. I didn't get a notification. I have notifications on. I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. It can't grow. It can't grow. I don't it know what to grow. do. I can't make it grow. Yeah. Uh, same thing with some of our followers. And they get the our, same thing. Some of our followers are not really, like, not there, really. Yeah, that like, happens. Hey, man, one. you don't yeah. do any more things on Facebook? <laughs> no, we don't. I found out from him. That people weren't that dumb because he had this chat. It's his fucking channel. He's on it. Subscription, notifications, whatever. And then he started noticing. He's like, bro, I didn't even know that episode came out. I'm not getting notified of anything. And I have notifications set to on. I have, And sometimes you won't see me when you're going in your subscriptions. I won't pop up when I have a new video. It's because you'll say, how come there's not, there should be more viewers, should be more subscribers. I don't know what else I can do. I advertise, I, pu- I push it on all my platforms where I have other people. It's, there's no way to get it to grow because no one sees it in their fucking feed. Yeah. It's so crazy what they do. And this is without Bill C-11. That's what without. So imagine with. When the government steps in and go, this is not Canadian enough. You guys, they could fuck you too. Because like, oh, he's talking about yeah. uh, American topics. That's not yeah. Canadian. And then eventually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to leave. People are going to be like, eh, why did you leave? You're a traitor. You're a traitor. traitor. The government doesn't let me make money. Not a traitor. I like my money. Yeah. As does everyone else. Yeah. It's not stolen. I work for this fucking shit. That's the thing. I'm sick and tired of working for like the whole fucking country yeah. when only 40% of people in here pay taxes. Is that true? Is it 40? Well, think about it. Just let's, let's put it in perspective. Well, there's there are 8 children. billion people in Quebec. 8 billion people? 8 million. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. 8 million people in Quebec. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Half of that are working. And another port, so half of that, a little bit less than half of that is working. And 
you have a oh, couple. That's where it says who pays income tax, and then the answer is retards. <laughs> Thank you. 2.4 million tax. Uh, 37% of the people pay no taxes, basically. What? Yep. Pay no taxes. No taxes. And so, then there's, and, and then it's after that, there's freeloading people, children. And then there's that. After, no, it's not just children. It's old people. It's children. It's people that don't work. And after that, people will say, yeah, but it don't add up. It means that there's uh, 63% that are paying taxes. Yes. But out of that 63,000 people, the taxes that they pay is so minimal. Yeah. That yeah. They're, they're not the people that are making the big chunk. The people that are making the big chunk. Middle class and above. Middle class and above. So you see, they're always like, tax the rich, tax the rich. Yeah, for the poor not to fucking pay. Like everybody want, and everybody here wants things to be free. They want the education free. They want the health to be free. They want this to be free. There's 37 percent of people not paying taxes, and a little bit more paying little to no taxes. We're not gonna get anything free with that. But everybody wants everything free, so we're gonna get more taxes, more pay. It's like the work that I do, I I, I earned it. Yeah, me too. I, I lose half my shit to taxes. Yeah, so I gotta give you all your sh- all my shit. All my shit to you because you know. It's like I hear those ideologies where, oh, no, yeah, there should be a cap on billionaires. Those millionaires, those billionaires are actually, even with the no taxes that they're paying, are paying more taxes than you. Yeah. Oh, they, they, want pay the a lot education, of- they want the education to be free. Nothing is free. No, how do you it's do like free? So you're not you going to pay a teacher? So you're you're not, not- exactly. So you don't. You want you want the teachers to have high. Uh, teachers should have the pay. So teachers should have like the same pay grade as as doctors. Agreed. Okay? okay. How do we get that? Agree. How do we get that? Because it's not everything free. Are, like I swear to God, if there I, if there's a if there is a politician that tells me that, and that tells me, listen, guys, all are they doing is lying to you. Yeah. We're going to have to pay. I'm going to be like, I'll be willing to pay. Yeah. Because I'm like, this guy's not bullshitting me. I was like, look, all I'm going to tell you is I'm putting but the money in these places. To, they're all trying to be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know what? Everything's going to be free. We're going to make this free. We're gonna make, and when they get empowered, they see that it's impossible. It's impossible to make everything free. How does it work? You also, it's like when you listen, you stop and you listen to talk to people. Like that. You listen to how people talk and you're like, you're like I'm not smart, but you're but you're special <laughs> kind of stupid. <laughs> the you're best, a yeah. Special kind of dumb. I love when they say like Canada's amazing because healthcare is free. It's not really because I lose half my paycheck, and if I want to go to the hospital, and I, I still gotta pay sometimes. Not just that, I gotta wait for three days. It's like hold on, it's not free. It's not free. I'm and in you, line you for want, three days. You want the teacher to have like the same pay rate as a doctor, but you want the education to be free. How the fuck does that work in your head, stupid? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, bro, I said it again. People don't understand basic. Twenty percent of the people in the province don't work. That means one what? in five people. One in five people don't wait, work. Wait, wait, twenty percent of adults, right? Not like uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, unemployed, yeah. It doesn't yeah. count like kids because obviously, like so that, that means so that means it's worse. Yeah, it's not 20 percent of it's not twenty percent of month. It's like okay, if you don't count the kids, we're eight million. Yeah. Don't count the kids, like six, four. So of four, course they're not paying taxes, yeah. but we're paying for them. The percent, which is fine. That's fine. The percentage is three point nine percent the unemployment rate, but uh, I think twenty point six percent of the of total the, unemployment of in, people that can work. I think in eight. Oh my god, that's bad, yeah. bro. Yeah, Yeah. yeah. Twenty like percent of our, our available workforce refuses to work. I think so. Yeah, I think that's, that's why our flights keep getting canceled. So basically, yeah. So uh, they want everything free, but everything costs money. Everything costs money. I'm supposed to pay a wage. Yeah, but people want everything to be free. I used to be like, yeah, free this, free that. I'm like, wait a minute, let me think about it two seconds. Let's think about that. How are we going to achieve that? How? It's funny because when you talk to those people, they're like, well, that's their, their, their job to figure it out. So you want it when free. They do that. You want it free, but you don't think about the how. The how you're going to get that. I hate the whole. So whenever you think about that, how you're going to get that, it don't make sense. It don't add up. Because you know what I hate? What you said is what I hate is how people think, oh, because of their position, their politicians, they know better. Bro, I know po- politicians are just other dudes. Yeah. They're just other people. Yeah. There's liars. There's scumbags. Yeah. There's imbeciles. You know yeah. how many politicians are complete buffoons? Yeah, A absolutely. child could run a s- mental circle around them. Absolutely. Just because they're politicians. And, and that's the thing. So 
people in Quebec don't have more kids, right? Yeah. They don't want to accept. They want to put a cap on immigrants. Yeah. I'm like, how does how does it how does this work? I have no workforce. It's all ideals of what people want, but I'm like, no, it don't work. Practically, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. We need more people because you don't want to you don't want to go out in the field pick up fruits. No. Fruits need to be picked. Or else you're gonna pay sixteen dollars for an apple. Yeah. Why? Because that employee is gonna want sixteen dollars an hour. Yeah. So you want me to pick apples, bro? Twenty bucks now. Let's do this. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I just listen to. I don't say much. I'm so now because we're talking about it. But yeah. I listen. I listen to what they saying, and I'm like, ugh, I'm over it. Look, I'm over it too. We're gonna end on that because uh, we have other podcasts to do. Yeah. So we got a busy fucking day, and you got podcasts and meetings, yeah. and you got even more than I do. So uh, preach, Abba and preach. Abba and preach. Links are in the description. There's also Abba versus preach. Abba versus preach. The podcast, baby. Yeah. We a lot of people aren't fallop. aware. We have les fallons. They're not aware. In we French, have, <coughs> les fallop. Les fallop in French. That's a sexual com- com- You and Melanie Couture. With Melanie Couture. Very very nice and yep. funny lady. Also perfectly bilingual. Did you know this? Yes, absolutely. I keep I keep uh, mentioning that about her to everyone. I keep bragging for her. <laughs> perfectly bilingual. I think her dad. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, Anglo. Links are all in the description. If you didn't know, preach. Uh, what are you doing on the internet? Uh, follow preach. Subscribe to Ab and Preacher channel. Subscribe to Abba versus Preach because you clearly already like podcasts. Yeah. Thank you all. Instagram is King Preach the Petty because you know. I be petty. He's petty. He's hilarious. But all these links are in the description. It's very easy for you. Just scroll down, click, and you're there. Let's go today. Let's go. We've built this prison cell. Cause we can trust ourselves.